What is going on guys? Back with another video today. Guys, I want to tell you off the bat that this is going to be a little bit of a different video. All right. Now, in the past, I've actually done some cooking videos where I've showed some of the stuff that I eat, um, what I eat to stay lean and build muscle quickly. I've done some videos regarding that. I got to be honest, they weren't really all that popular. So what I ended up doing was I think I just put them on private um, because I figured nobody was really getting any value from it. But the other day, uh, as I mentioned in my other video, I spoke to a gentleman on Instagram, David. Now, David is vegan like I am. Uh, now, don't worry. This entire video will not be about veganism. Trust me. N whether you're vegan or not, this can benefit your life if you're trying to lose weight and gain muscle at the same time and do it without being tortured. Okay? That is a big thing because who wants to be tortured while they're trying to lose weight and gain muscle? It's already hard enough to do both those things. You want to be able to enjoy your life. So anyway, David reached out to me and I'm grateful that he did. He and his family purchased a tonal and they are loving that tonal. And between going vegan and having that tonal, they have changed their lives already so much. David lost a ton of weight. His son lost a ton of weight. He sent me some beautiful pictures. His family is absolutely gorgeous and they look great. And obviously the veganism and the tonal has been helping them do that. Guys, Today we're going to talk about, in this video, food. What types of food to eat when you want to lose weight, gain muscle, and be happy, okay? We're going to delve into it a little bit. Now, I, I want to start off with saying this is what has worked for me. I am not a doctor. I am not a personal trainer. I am not a dietitian. I have no credentials. But because you guys have seen the progress in my videos, I've been asked to do videos like this twice. This is the second time I've asked to do a video like this. Um, and I think this one's going to be very, very good and useful for all people. Okay. Now, why would you ever want to change the way you eat? If you want to lose weight, can't you just do cardio? Absolutely. Let's start off with saying absolutely. You don't need to change the way you eat in order to lose weight. You don't. But keep in mind, guys, if you want to build muscle and lose weight at the same time, that is different. That is different than just losing weight. Guys, it is very hard to implement a cardio program into your training and have it be intense enough to lose enough weight that you want while you're also doing a bodybuilding training to gain as much muscle as you want. Guys, it's very, very hard, at least in my opinion, okay? If you're not taking any type of performance enhancers, steroids, anything like that, it's going to be very hard, okay? I've tried to do it my whole life. You try to build muscle and you try to lose weight, so you do heavy, heavy intensity weight training, and then you do heavy cardio training, and guys, you're losing more muscle than anything. You might lose weight, but you're also losing muscle, and it is hard to gain muscle, so don't lose your muscle. So what do you do? If you can't do cardio at a very high intensity to lose weight, and you can't build muscle at the same time that you're doing that high cardio, you need to turn to calories. You need to turn to food. You have to look at the way you're eating. Now, again, guys, there might be a million people out there who disagree with everything I say in this video. This is what has worked for me. I have been asked to speak about what has worked for me. So that's what I'm doing. Okay. All right. So here we go. Let's delve into it. Now, when you're watching what you're eating because you want to lose weight and you want to gain muscle, my recommendation is you get... If you're doing a bodybuilding training program and you want to gain that muscle, you want to implement about one gram of protein per body weight. Now, that might sound crazy and it is a little high, but and there's debates on protein. There's debates. Just keep in mind you want protein in your diet. You want protein in your diet, guys. Try to get, if I weigh 100 and. 80 pounds. Let's just say I weigh 180 pounds um, or 200 pounds. Try to get at least, if you weigh 200 pounds, try to get at least like 150. 
grams of protein in there, try, try, guys, if you have a little less, it's not going to kill you, and we'll talk about in a little bit why it won't kill you, but just try to get as much protein as possible, try to spread it out throughout the day, me personally, I try to have, try, because I'm not perfect, I try to have five meals a day that have protein in them, okay, um, now that might sound hard, but we're going to get into how I do it, and maybe that'll help you. Okay, so you want to focus on the protein. You want to make sure you get enough protein. I don't focus on any other macros. There are plenty of people who focus on macros. I need this much fiber. I need this many carbs. I need this. I need that. I don't do that. I'm not going to lose my mind. Guys, this is a lifestyle for me, not a diet. So I don't want to lose my mind and be like, oh, I need this much of this, this much of that. What I've been doing has been working. And it's been working just fine. I've been building muscle and losing weight. Easy, easy, easy. So I'm not going to start tracking macros. Okay, so what I suggest, number one is a food scale, guys. This thing is going to change your life, okay? Let me give you an example of how this is going to change your life. You can eat 100 calories of candy, and you can eat 100 calories of spinach. Let's say you eat 100 calories of, of candy and 100 calories of spinach. What do you think is going to fill you up more? The spinach. I'm sure you guys were already thinking the spinach. Why? Because 100 calories of spinach is like 400 grams, 400 grams of, um, of food. It's like 400 grams of food. And 100 calories of candy is going to be like, what, 25 grams depending on the candy? What I'm getting at is with this, you can measure your food. This is going to allow you to measure out how many calories you're eating. For example, spinach. So if I sit down at the end of the night and I want to be full, I want to be full. I am going to go to the fridge and grab some spinach. I'm going to throw that spinach into a, a bowl, put it in the microwave or put it in a pan and, and, and warm it up, heat it up. And I'm going to measure out however many, however many calories I want of spinach. If I want to be really full, 200 calories of spinach, I might measure out. Guys, that is so much food that you might have trouble eating it. Because spinach is a low calorie, high density food. Low calorie, high volume. Okay? The volume is a lot. So while you think that maybe, oh man, um, that's not enough calories to make me full, 200 calories. Guys, calories don't make you full. Calories do not make you full, okay? Your body can run off of calories. If you were to eat 1,000 calories in one meal, your body can run off of those calories for a long time. But the feeling of fullness might not be there. If you eat 1,000 calories of guacamole... Guys, you're not going to be full. You're not going to be full. Now, you want to eat low calorie, high volume. Okay? Remember, calories do not make you full. It's the volume of food. It's the fiber. It's the amount of food that makes you full. The calories don't make you full. Remember that. That's important. So this is going to help you to track how, how much your food weighs. Okay? Now, I eat vegetables. I love vegetables. I don't eat a lot of vegetables, a lot of variety of vegetables. I eat the vegetables that I enjoy to eat. Because, guys, if I'm going to sit down and eat vegetables that I don't like to eat, like I'm not too fond of carrots when they're raw, right? Maybe, maybe if they're sautéed, I'll eat them. But I'm not too fond of carrots, guys. I'm not going to eat carrots. You don't have to eat carrots. Eat whatever vegetables you want. Or don't eat any vegetables if you don't care. But the point is, vegetables are low-calorie High volume, low, low calorie, high volume. So you can eat a ton of vegetables. You can be stuffed to the point where you can't breathe from vegetables. And guys, you're barely going to gain any weight. So you're going to be full and you're going to be losing weight at the same time. So that's the first thing. A food scale to measure your food, to weigh out your food, to get the right calories, to show you what food, what you're intaking. Okay? 
because you have to focus on what you're intaking into your body. This is a measuring spoon. You might not need it if you have a scale, but I recommend getting them anyway. Why? All right, I'm going to give you an example. The vegan mayonnaise that I buy, okay, it's 80 calories per tablespoon. That's a lot. So what do I do? If I'm sitting down to make a sandwich, I'm not going to use a whole tablespoon. I'm going to use half a tablespoon. And it makes it easier to weigh out mayonnaise in a spoon than on a scale. All right? So I take the half tablespoon, get a level scoop, plop it on my bread, and I'm good. These come in handy, and the scale comes in handy, guys. All right. Now, the next thing. Keep in mind throughout this whole video, the point is to try to lose weight while not being hungry. Guys, keep in mind, calories do not make you full. You have to remember that. A lot of people are tricked. A lot of people, I used to be tricked. A lot of people don't know. Calories don't have any bearing on how full you are. It's the volume of food. Seltzer. Seltzer. This has zero calories. It tastes absolutely phenomenal. It has bubbles in it. It's going to fill you up. So have seltzer throughout the day. This isn't seltzer. This is water. I carry around a bottle of water all day anyway. I love water. Water is absolutely amazing. It's amazing. Water is fantastic. It makes me feel good when I drink it. So I always, I'm filling this bottle up five, six times a day. I'm drinking out of this bottle. I'm drinking my water. Okay. So I'm filling up my water five or six times a day. I'm drinking the, the amount of water that makes me feel comfortable and healthy. You drink as much as you want. Seltzer, the bubbles, it's going to fill you up. All right. So we discussed seltzer. Who out there likes soda? Guys, I avoided soda. I'm like 35 years old. I avoided soda for like 30 years. No, more like 32 years of my life. I avoided soda because it's no good for you. It's garbage. It's poison. Zevia. Can you see this? Zevia. Z-E-V-I-A. This is soda. Zero calories and there's no chemicals. Now, if you guys don't care about chemicals, buy diet soda. Diet Pepsi, diet Coke, whatever you want. I care about the chemicals to a point. I buy Zevia. This is sweetened naturally with Stevia. They have like seven different flavors. They got orange. They got grape. They got ginger ale. They got cola. They have so many different flavors. Guys, drink a can or two and I can almost guarantee you, give it a shot. Buy a six pack of it. I can almost guarantee you that after a couple of cans, you will prefer this. Maybe originally it might taste a little different. Like, oh, I'm in uncharted territory over here. But guys, after a couple of cans, I have a very strong feeling you're going to love this stuff. It's delicious. Zero calories, zero guilt, zero problem. So you can drink soda. Okay? The next thing, guys. PB2. Now, if you like peanut butter, I was a peanut butter junkie. And I was always told that peanut butter, peanut butter was good for you. I was always told that peanut butter was good for you. Guys, I was lied to my entire life. And many of you out there are probably being lied to also. If you think peanut butter is good for you, if you think peanut butter is going to help you lose weight, you have been lied to and you have been fooled the way I was. Listen to me, guys. No matter how much you want to think that peanut butter is healthy for you, no matter how much you want to think that peanut butter is good for you, I don't care if you're putting it on celery or if you're putting it on bread to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It is not good for you. Now, if you don't care about gaining weight, eat all of it you want. A lot of people think that peanut butter is a great source of protein. 
Guys, listen to me. Peanut butter, here, this is 365 Whole Foods brand crunchy peanut butter. There's no chemicals in it, there's no additives, no nothing, right? Okay, it might have, okay, it has, um, it has a little sea salt, that's it, okay? Guys, this is 190 calories, 190 calories for two tablespoons. 190 calories for two tablespoons. Now, if calories made you full, this would be the thing to eat all day and night. But calories don't make you full. Volume, large amounts of food make you full. Large amounts of food make you happy. Peanut butter, you eat this much. This is a tablespoon, okay? You eat two of those, two of these. This circle, here. You eat two of those, you have 190 calories in your stomach, in your body, turning into fat. Okay? And as far as the protein argument goes, it's only got 7 grams of protein for those 2 tablespoons. Guys, if you're looking for protein, don't eat peanut butter. This is not going to help you. I hate to break it to you guys. I'm a peanut butter junkie. If I were to open this canister of peanut butter and take one scoop, guys, I'm going to have trouble putting this thing away. I'm going to be eating the whole can. I'm going to be eating the whole jar because it's not going to make me full. And it's going to taste delicious. And the whole time I'm eating it, I'm like, oh, this is healthy for me. It is not healthy. It's not giving you low calories and it's not helping you with your protein. Take this out of your cupboard. Get rid of it. If you're trying to lose weight and you're trying to gain muscle, get rid of it. If you're trying to get fat, eat this, okay? PB2, PB2. This stuff has like half the, ca less than half the calories. So for two tablespoons of PB2, you're getting 50 calories, okay? And you're getting four grams of protein per two tablespoons. This is a much more sensible option if you need peanut butter in your life, if you want peanut butter in your life. This particular PB2, I use from my, the ice cream that I make. I make my own ice cream. I get a ton of ice cream, 48 ounces of ice cream. It'll cost me like 200 calories. Normally, one pint of ice cream will cost you about 600 calories. I'm getting 48 ounces. I'm getting three pints of ice cream, homemade ice cream for about 200 calories, and it tastes absolutely phenomenal, in part because of this. PB2, this is chocolate and peanut butter in one jar. You can also get the regular just peanut butter if that's something that you want. Okay, PB2, watch out for that. Get rid of the peanut butter, guys. You'll probably lose 10 pounds right away just from stopping peanut butter. Okay, pasta. Who doesn't love pasta? I love pasta. Now, is there anything wrong with having pasta? The other night I had pasta. I had pasta the other night. I had something called seitan parmesan from a great Italian place that I know that makes vegan Italian food. It's, it's incredible. Absolutely incredible. But guys, that pasta, I don't need it all the time. I, I used to, but I don't need it all the time because that pasta, for a very small amount of pasta, you're getting a ton of calories. This is called skinny pasta. Skinny pasta. S-K-I-N-N-Y pasta. All these things I'm talking about, I'll try to link in the description. Okay? So, look in the description for the links. I don't get paid for it. I'm just linking what I buy. I have no affiliate links. I'm not famous. I don't get that stuff. So, skinny pasta. It claims you have to watch out. When you're, re when you're watching your calories, you have to look at the back of the label. On every single thing you look at for calories, you have to look on the back of the label. Because sometimes labels are misleading. The front of this says 9 calories per serving. Now, if you look at the back, it says 10 calories per serving. It's only one calorie difference. Oh, no problem. Don't worry about it. The problem comes in when you realize there's two servings in a container. If you see nine calories on the front and you say, oh, this whole bag is nine calories, you're wrong. Guys, the whole bag is 20 calories. If you do the math on the back, there's two servings per container in this. 
two servings in this, which means it's actually 10 calories times two. Is that a lot of calories? Absolutely not. But you need to be careful because companies lie. Skinny pasta. This stuff is phenomenal. Okay? It's different. It's not like regular pasta. It's different. It's made from a plant. But two things that this pasta is going to do is one, keep your calories super low. And two, make you very full. This pasta will make you very full. It comes in different shapes. It comes in spaghetti. This is the spaghetti one. I personally like the rice size. All it is, is it's the same pasta. It's just a different size. But they have so many different types that you can find of this brand. I like the rice one. Okay, This is the spaghetti. It doesn't matter. It's the same thing. It's all 20 calories for one pack for the, whole, for the two servings. All right? Watch out for this stuff. It will make you full. It will keep your calories low. And you're going to be happy because you're going to be full. You can put some low-calorie tomato sauce on that. You can do whatever you want with it. It's going to taste good. It's going to make you full. You're going to appreciate this. Okay? The next thing that I love is Muscle Farm Organic Protein Protein Bars. Now, this is vegan. Guys, this isn't going to give you the most protein in the world. It's not. It's got 15 grams for 180 calories. In my opinion, it's a little high in the calories, it's a little low in the protein, but it's the best that I can find in a vegan form, okay? So, the, the point of this video is, guys, you want to keep your calories low and you want to make yourself full. So, whether you're vegan or not, you guys can, can enjoy what I'm trying to tell you. Look for a low-calorie substitute of things you normally eat, and look for some of the things... Guys, a lot of the stuff I'm going to mention in this video that's vegan is going to be great for meat eaters. Because it's going to be lower calorie than normal meat. And guess what? Some of the stuff that I'm going to talk about, it's phenomenal. It tastes delicious. So you could still be a meat eater and you can eat this stuff anyway. And you're going to be full and you're going to have tons of protein in your life. Okay? Just have to say that real quick. Because I know a lot of people are scared of the word vegan. You just got to know what it is. Pasta is vegan. Pasta is vegan. Who doesn't love pasta? All right? Rice. Everybody loves rice. Rice is vegan. All right. So... Organic, protein, plant-based, muscle farm protein bar. This is something that I eat twice a day when I'm at work to get a little protein in. Remember, I try to get about five servings of protein a day, and I try to equal to the amount or close to my body weight. All right? It's never going to be perfect. Don't lose your mind over it. It's not that big a deal. As long as you're getting protein in, that, that's fine. Okay? The next thing, coffee. Coffee. I have an espresso machine. You don't have to get one. But I'm telling you, depend on caffeine. Depend on caffeine because it's going to give you energy and it's going to make you not hungry. So if you're not eating, you're not gaining weight. And it's going to give you energy. Okay? So this is my opinion. Some people might not agree, but I love my caffeine. It makes me feel happy. It makes me feel good. Gives me energy and it helps me lose weight. I love my espresso. The next thing, guys, is... I have a bunch of them. Spices. I love to cook. If you guys don't love to cook, no problem. But because I make my own low-calorie food at home, that fills me up and makes me feel amazing and helps me build muscle and lose weight, I have a lot of seasonings. Hamburger seasoning, cayenne pepper, garlic, red chili. I even have this in, in the cabinet. It's called Accent, okay? This is MSG. I know everybody's afraid of MSG. I don't use it a lot. But when you're on a low-calorie diet and you want things to taste amazing, all you need is a drop of this. And whatever you're cooking is going to taste incredible. I haven't had any problems so far. I've owned this container for about two years now. It's probably this this much left in it. Little drop. It's not going to hurt you. Guys, you're eating MSG all day anyway, depending on what you're eating. You don't know that you're eating it. And it's not hurting you. Okay? That's just my opinion. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist. Do what makes you comfortable. All right? That's just what I do. All right. So your seasonings are important. 
I'm getting a little crowded on the table over here. Okay. Just found this stuff the other day. Just found this stuff the other day. It's called Gorilla Mode Pre-Workout Formula. Gorilla Mode Pre-Workout Formula. Guys, this stuff gives me energy. Remember, I don't get paid by anybody for this. I'm not affiliated with this company or any, any of these companies. This stuff will give you energy. And this stuff will make you full for like four or five hours. When I come home from work, on an empty stomach, I take this. If I'm starving and I feel like I'm gonna die because I need food, you take this, you're not gonna be starving anymore. You are gonna be, you're gonna feel fine. Now, I'm not telling you to starve yourself, but you have to remember, as long as you're getting your calories in, you're not starving. You might feel hungry. You might feel hungry. That does not mean you're starving. Calories allow you to live. If you ate four tablespoons of this, you'd be having about, I'm not good with math, hold on a second. You'd be having, if you had four tablespoons of this peanut butter, you'd be having close to 400 calories, okay? That 400 calories can sustain your body for a very long time. Very long time. You can live off of 400 calories for a very long time. But you're going to be hungry because your stomach has nothing in it because it's so small the amount that you eat. So you're getting, as long as, the point that I'm trying to get at is as long as you're getting your calories in, you're going to be fine. If you feel like you're starving, you're probably not. Trust me, guys. You're probably not starving. Your body's tricking you. It wants to eat. Your body's greedy. Your body is greedy. It wants something in its stomach. Doesn't matter how many calories you have. It wants to be full. You can eat this much food. You can eat five pounds of food. If there's if that five pounds of food is only a small amount of food, but it has 6,000 calories in it, you're still going to be hungry. But your body can survive for days on that one meal if it had 6,000 calories. I hope you guys are seeing what I'm trying to say. So when you guys feel, when you guys feel like you're starving, remember that you're not. That's important. Don't be tricked by your body. Okay? This stuff will make you not hungry, it will give you energy, and it will treat you well. It's treated me very well so far. The only thing I don't like about it is it has sucralose in it, which is an artificial sweetener. When I first purchased it, I did not know that it had that. But I've used it, and i got to be honest, I'm not going to go back. And it's not that sugary. If you know anything about sucralose, it is extremely sweet. This barely tastes sweet to me. So that tells me, there's barely any sucralose in it because the smallest amount of sucralose is super sweet. This barely tastes sweet. There's barely any in it, I'm sure, and I'm comfortable with that. But keep that in mind. If you don't like chemicals, don't buy this. All right? So we've spoken about those items. This, broth. This is a part of the seasoning category, but I love this. This is not chicken broth. Tastes like chicken broth, right? In a cube. You put it in the water. You got a broth going. This can be made into a low calorie sauce if you guys like to cook. Salt. A lot of people don't like salt. Guys, I used to be the kind of guy who was like, I don't want salt, I don't want salt. Guys, salt is misunderstood on many levels. You don't want too much salt. You want to be balanced. But the point is that salt will help you to feel full and satisfied. When you're on a low calorie diet, you want to feel full and satisfied and happy. What is salt gonna do? It's gonna make you feel full and satisfied and happy. This particular salt is pink Himalayan sea salt. I like this. You can use whatever salt you want. I like this. Salt's gonna make you full, happy, and satisfied. Now, you don't wanna use too much. Keep in mind, salt is also gonna give you a very good pump at the gym. If you're bodybuilding, you need salt. But guys, your body needs salt. 
Don't be fooled like I was, who was like, oh, I don't want salt, I don't want salt. Guys, your body needs salt. In order to operate efficiently, you need salt. This is gonna help you. If you have salt before you go to the gym, you're gonna be pushing out harder pumps than you ever thought possible. Trust me, try it. Try it. Have a little bit of salt on your meal before you go to the gym. You're gonna feel amazing. Don't avoid the salt like it's the plague, it's not. Okay? Let's see, what didn't I touch on? I touched on all this stuff, my table is super crowded. All right, let me talk about this so I can put it back in the freezer. Gardein, G-A-R-D-E-I-N, Gardein Foods. When I come home from work, or I wake, or I don't feel like cooking, you have two options. You can order out, or you can make something delicious that you have home already. Now, what makes Gardein vegan burgers, Gardein Ultimate Beefless Burger? What makes this better than a regular burger? Well, it's got a ton less calories. And it's going to fill you up just the same. So if you're a meat eater, I highly suggest you buy this. Because this is going to make you full. It's going to give you a ton of protein. You got 15 grams of protein in 130 calories of a burger that's going to make you full satisfied. It tastes delicious. Guys, this is awesome. I'll have two of these on some low-calorie bread or some low calorie wraps, maybe add 100 calories of spinach. Guys, I'm stuffed, I'm happy, I'm satisfied. I feel like I ate out at a restaurant, okay? So, they have tons of different stuff. Gardein, they have, all of the stuff I'm about to say is vegan, but they're called what I'm about to say. They have chicken scallopini, they have turkey and gravy. They have meatballs. They have the beef, beefless burgers. They have sliders. Guys, look at the bag. Look at the calories. Look at the protein. Remember, you want protein because you want to build your muscles up. And guys, protein in itself, protein in itself, when you eat a protein, it makes you full. So you can eat more protein than you have to throughout a day. Because it, it might not only be you're eating it because of the actual protein content for your muscles. You could be eating it because you want to be full and satisfied. Protein does that. So do that. You're not going to overeat if you're eating a ton of protein. You're not going to overeat. You can eat two pounds of pasta and not be full. Try to eat two pounds of protein, no matter what kind of protein it is, whether it's meat or vegan protein. You can't do it. You're not going to overeat. Now, I buy something called wheat gluten to make something called seitan, S-E-I-T-A-N. Babe, can you put this back in the freezer for me? I'm going to put the TV on. Yeah, put your headphones on. So I buy, I buy wheat protein, okay? That wheat protein allows me to cook something called seitan. Let me show you what seitan is. It's going to be hard. Uh, I wish I brought a fork. Need a fork? That'd be good. Seitan is something that I cook up, okay? If anybody here wants to see me show you how to make this, I make burgers, I make steaks. And I make ice cream. Those are three things that I make. If you guys want to see how I make that stuff, let me know. I will make a dedicated video to that. Thank you, honey. Okay. I will make a dedicated video for that. If you want to see how I make that stuff. All those things will make you full. They will help you lose weight. And they will help you build muscle. If you want to see me make those, let me know in the comments. Because I'm not going to make the videos and then you guys, you know, you didn't really want to see them. Okay? This is a steak. You see how juicy it is? You see how it's leaking juice? Guys, you see how thick this is? This has about 30 grams of protein in it. And I think it's like 130 calories. When you eat this, you are stuffed. You put this between two slices of bread. Guys, 
especially if you double up. If you have two of these steaks on there, you're not going to want anything else. You're going to be full and you're going to be happy and you're going to be satisfied. Okay? Remember, I make steaks, I make burgers, and I make ice cream. If you guys need to see how I do that stuff, let me know. I would love to show you because I feel like it will improve your life. Now, the seasoning comes in handy. All the seasonings I talked about come in handy when you make this. When you make this, when you make the burgers. Guys, if you know how to cook and you like to cook, this is the way to go if you're vegan or even if you're not because you're saving a ton of calories and getting a ton of protein. Okay? That's where the seasoning comes in, right here, when you like to cook. When you don't like to cook and you want something fast and simple and easy, get the Gardein meals. G-A-R-D-E-I-N. Get those meals. Low calories, high protein. It'll make you happy and feel good. All right? Like I mentioned, low calorie bread and low calorie wraps. This is the stuff you want. This is actually 70 calories per wrap, which is very respectable. They actually have 60 calorie wraps. You can probably even find 40 calorie wraps. Whatever you guys like. Keep in mind that you want to lower your calories. Okay? Monk Zero. This is Monk Sweetener. Okay? Monk Sweetener. Monk Sweetener. A sweetener called Allulose. A-L-L-U-L-O-S-E, I believe. Allulose. Monk Sweetener. This is monk, monk sweetener as well, L liquid form. This is the, the sugar form. Guys, if you love sugar, you need sugar in your coffee, you need this, you need that, buy this stuff. Zero calories, zero guilt, zero problem, okay? It's a little bit more on the expensive side than sh regular sugar. Zero calories. You could use this all day and night. You're not going to gain weight, right? You'll feel happy and satisfied. You want to feel happy and satisfied. You don't want to feel miserable. Enjoy technology. Enjoy the options we have. We don't just have sugar out there. We have a lot of options. Okay. Hershey's Cocoa, right? You can buy any brand of cocoa. Any brand. Hershey's, Anthony's on Amazon, whatever you want. It's going to be low calories. One tablespoon. One tablespoon is 10 calories. If you took this... And you add this into a glass of milk, low calorie milk, high calorie, whatever kind of milk you want. You add those together, you have chocolate milk with like barely any calories. You have ice cream. If you make my recipe for ice cream, I use this and I use this. It's going to taste super sweet. It's going to taste super delicious. And it's going to taste like chocolate ice cream. It's amazing. Okay. Popcorn. This stuff is great. Now, it's not just any kind of popcorn. This popcorn has zero butter on it, okay? I buy the kernels. If you can find the packages, you can find light popcorn. It might have some oil on it, whatever. I prefer the kind that has nothing on it. And then you can buy zero calorie sprays if you want. My wife uses zero calorie sprays. Popcorn, guys. This stuff is low calorie, high density. Low calorie, high density. That's what you want. This will fill you up. If you're hungry and you don't want to eat a lot of calories and you want to get full, guys, seven and a half cups of this. Seven and a half cups is only 120 calories and it's also giving you fiber along with it. Okay? Now, I personally buy Anthony's premium pea protein, okay? You can buy any protein you want, whether you're vegan or not vegan. This is vegan, so I buy this. It's okay. I'll mix some cocoa powder in it. I'll add some water to it. I'll add some monk fruit sweetener. Tastes like a fancy protein shake that I bought that was pre-made at like a store. Tastes great, okay? This is the protein that I get. For 175 calories, you're getting 40 grams of protein. That's respectable, very respectable, okay? I usually start my day off with 40 grams of protein from the Anthony. Okay? 
Uh, let's see what else. Give me a second. I just got to put this stuff back in the fridge. All right, guys, so while I was putting that stuff back in the fridge, I saw something that I forgot to bring out. That was pickles. Do you guys like pickles? I don't know. I, I love pickles. Why do I love pickles? They are super low calorie. My pickles say zero calories on them. Now, something that you have to keep in mind is if something says zero calories, it doesn't always mean it's zero calories. Pickles, for example, they're not zero calories. They're not. But the jar says zero calories. Why? Because they are so low in calories that it almost doesn't matter. So you don't want to go eating 25 jars of pickles because you're going to gain calories and you don't know how many calories they are because it says zero calories. But if you have a couple pickles with dinner, two, three pickles, why is that so good? Super low calories, almost no calories. I wouldn't even count them. Zero calories. Okay, zero calories. And they have salt in them. So they satisfy you. They will make you feel good. You're going to enjoy it. Okay. So, oh, another thing. Okay, this is a broken down box that I had here of vegan milk. Okay, this is vegan chocolate milk. Is this low in calories? Not my opinion. It's 150 calories per one cup. This is just the kind I use. You can find much lower calorie vegan and non-vegan milk. Keep in mind, the things you drink, okay, the things you drink are going to a lot of the time have a ton of calories and they will not make you full. So if I was to sit down and drink two glasses of this milk, do you think that two eight ounce glasses of this milk is going to make me full? No, but it's sure going to give me a lot of calories. That's 300 calories in two glasses of this chocolate milk. Keep that in mind. Another good reason to make your own chocolate milk. Buy a super low calorie milk, like a 40 calorie almond milk or something like that. Add your allulose or add your monk fruit sweetener and add your cocoa powder. And you have a chocolate milk that tastes still just like this, but it's like 50 calories. You can have 10 of them. You know what I'm saying? This is the way you need to think. Get outside the box that you were brought up in. Get outside of the realm of believing that ca the more calories, the more full you'll be in. These are the things you got to look at. Don't drink your calories because you will gain weight and not even know it because you won't be full. Sauces. A lot of people are like, oh, I'm having a salad tonight for dinner, so I'm going to put on this sauce and I'm not going to count the calories for the sauce because I'm already eating a salad. Guys, you might have just poured 300 calories or 400 calories of sauce on your salad. Keep that in mind. You need to count the calories for sauce. If you don't, you are doing yourself an injustice. You might be eating salad and wondering why you don't lose weight. And you might be eating a salad and be like, why am I not full and I'm gaining weight? You're, you're gaining weight and you're not full because you're drinking your calories from the sauce. You don't even know it. Keep that in mind. Certain seasonings. Certain seasonings. Okay? This seasoning for a half tablespoon has 45 calories. That's high. This is a seasoning. When you compare that to the red chili pepper that has zero calories, you can eat this all day. This, you're going to get fat. And this is a seasoning. Keep that in mind. Look at the back. You got to look at the nutrition label. You have to look at that and read it properly and measure properly. That's what you have to do. Okay. Bacos. Who doesn't love bacos? Vegan or not? Bacos are delicious. These are super, in my opinion, super high calorie. One tablespoon is 30 calories for bacos. 
Do you think this is going to fill you up? You're going to need about six tablespoons to even make it like it's there. So whatever 30 times six is, that's how many calories you have that you really don't need. If you want it, fine, but you need to pick and choose because you're trying to lose weight and you're trying to gain muscle and stay lean and happy. Now guys, all this stuff that I'm talking about today might not sound fun. I love it. I love it. In the beginning, it was weird. In the beginning, it was strange. I was like, oh, I got to measure and I got to count and I'm getting confused and, uh, you know, I'm not good with math and I need a calculator and this and that. Guys, in the beginning, it's going to take an adjustment. But do it for a little bit. And I love it because it's showing me what I'm eating. Guys, the less calories you're eating the more you're going to lose weight. Am I telling you to starve yourself? Absolutely not. Do not starve yourself. I don't starve myself. I feel like I eat too much. Yet I count my calories. Now, deciding on how many calories you need to eat is another story. I don't trust those calorie counting apps that tell you, what the amount of calories you need is. I don't really use them. I don't use them, okay? Now, what I did, what I did was I woke up one day and I said, okay, tomorrow I'm gonna count my calories. Today I'm not. I took out a piece of paper. Throughout the day, I ate like I normally would eat. I ate the peanut butter, I ate the baked goes, I ate, drank the milk, I did whatever I wanted, I ate the ice cream, every, I ate whatever I wanted, whatever I wanted, did not matter, because it's a normal day. And on that paper though, every time I ate something, I wrote down what it was, and I wrote how much of it I was eating, and I wrote how many calories it was. By the end of the day, you look at that paper, it is very likely that you're eating 3,500 calories. You're eating 4,000 calories. That paper is going to show you how much you're eating. Now, when you find out how much you're eating in terms of calories, what you want to do is remember that there's 3,500, I believe 35, I could be wrong, but I believe there's 3,500 calories in one pound of fat. Divide up your week however you want as far as taking away 3,500 calories out of your weekly calorie amount. And if you do that, you will be losing one pound a week. Okay? So if you... Okay. So if you subtract 500 calories in a week out of all the food you're eating already. So you track your calories, you write down, okay, I'm eating this much. If you subtract 500 calories a day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, you take away 500 calories out of that one day, by the end of the week, you have added up 35 hundred calories, which is equal to one pound of fat that you will lose. Okay. Do that. Now I'm talking to men and women here. You guys need to know your bodies. You need to know that what you need in order to function properly is, is unique. I'm not a doctor. I am comfortable personally Personally, I am comfortable. I'm not telling you guys to do this. I'm comfortable on 1,600 calories a day. I've gone to 1,400 calories a day. Now, I'm not telling you I do that every day. I don't. I do not. But what I am telling you is everybody's different. So if you're a woman, you need less calories. Okay, I'm not a doctor, but that's a fact. You can figure that out on your own, with your own research. If you're a woman, you need less calories. And if you're a man, you need more calories. So if you're a man and you're eating 3,000 calories a day now, my suggestion is you write down all the stuff you're eating, 
find out that you're eating 3,000 calories a day and subtract slowly 500 calories a day one week. If you feel good doing that, subtract another 500 calories the next week. If you feel good doing that, I would say subtract another 500 the third week until you get to a point where you're comfortable and you feel, I can do this. Guys, you don't have to lose weight super fast. You can lose weight nice and slow and comfortable. If you crash diet, which is cutting your calories by a ton of calories, if you're eating 3,500 calories a day and you're like, oh, I'm going to listen to Joe, I'm going to cut my calories and eat 600 calories a day, I'm going to eat 1,000 calories a day, guys, you are going to fail on that diet, number one. You're going to lose a ton of muscle, number two, because if you cut too much calories too fast, you're going to lose muscle, okay? And number three, you're going to be miserable, and you're going to bounce back, and you're going to be eating all the food that is in front of you in a matter of weeks, and you're going to fail, and you're going to be like, counting calories didn't work. Guys, this needs to be a sustainable thing. You have to be happy with what you're eating, when you're eating, and how many calories you have. You have to be happy. So if you're a man, find a comfortable calorie range. Just keep in mind. When you subtract, it, and if you're a woman, find a comfortable calorie range. You can even do extra research on the internet to find out. But keep in mind, if you're eating a certain amount of calories, and all of a sudden you stop losing weight after a couple of weeks of eating the same amount of calories, cut back calories slowly throughout the week. Remember, cutting out 500 a day over a seven period, over a seven day period, will help you to lose one pound of fat. Don't rush this process. Process. Don't rush it. Do it slowly. Okay. And while you're bodybuilding, you're gonna lose even more weight. Okay. So you don't have to take away a ton of calories right away because you're bodybuilding. Your body's gonna gain muscle. You're gonna be using your body. You're gonna be exercising. So you're gonna gain. You're gonna lose weight. But keep in mind, don't cut calories so fast to the point where you're getting sick and you're losing muscle. Don't do it. So men and women, keep that in mind. The less calories you eat, the wiser the choices you make, the more volume you eat for the less amount of calories, the better for you. You will lose weight. You will see that this works. Guys, I don't fit into my suits anymore because I lost so much weight. I have thousands of dollars worth of suits that I don't fit into properly. I need to get them tailored. I'm not complaining though. I feel amazing. I've been gaining muscle and losing weight. Doing the things that I'm telling you guys to do right now. Now I'm not gonna tell you how many calories I'm eating a day right now because I believe that if I did that, you guys would just jump to that number and be like, I'm gonna do that. I don't want you to do that. I want you to look at how many calories you're eating all together right now. And I want you to say, okay, let me subtract 500 a day from that already. And if you feel healthy after a week and you feel good and you feel invigorated and you can go to the gym and you can go on the tonal and you can bust out heavy duty reps and you feel amazing, that's wonderful. Wait another week on that same amount of calories and then lower it again another maybe 100 calories a day or 200 calories more a day, whatever you feel comfortable with. Experiment with your body because there is no calculator out there that is going to give you the best perfect answer. And remember, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nutritionist, I am not anybody who has any degree in anything. So keep that in mind, I'm just telling you what's working for me. This information should be used for entertainment purposes only. Okay? I have to give that disclaimer. All right, guys. So I hope this was helpful. I hope that this gave you an insight into how to make wiser choices in your eating. Keep in mind, you don't want to cut calories too fast. Keep in mind that there's 3,500 calories in a pound of fat. So if you cut out 3,500 calories... Within a week's period of your total calorie allotment, you're losing a pound. And keep in mind that there's healthy choices out there. 
Keep in mind that you want a high volume of food for a low volume of calories. Okay? Um, and also, if you guys want to see me make a video on how I make my burgers, how I make my steaks, and how I make my ice cream, let me know in the comments. I really hope this stuff helped. If there's anything I can be more clear on, let me know. Feel free to reach out to me on Instagram, on YouTube. If you want a private conversation, Instagram is on the way, uh, is the best way to do that. If you want to have a public conversation, YouTube is the best way to do that. Doesn't matter me either way. It's up to you. I really hope this got helped, guys. And again, if I need to clarify anything, let me know. Let me know, and I'll do my best. Okay? I hope you guys are having a great day. Trust me, this might seem like a lot at first. It's not as bad as you might think. Trust me, I am happy. I'm so happy counting my calories. I know what I can eat. I know how to eat. I'm losing weight. I'm gaining muscle. I can't be happier doing everything I've been telling you right now. I can't be happier. All right, guys. I hope you're having a great day. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if it was helpful. Let me know if it wasn't helpful. Let me know if you need those recipes, and I'll make some videos on the recipes. Take care, guys. Be safe and enjoy your lives. Enjoy your tonal. And think about the tonal if you don't have one. It's changed my life. Think about this. Keep in mind that this is all about feeling good. You should not be feeling bad. Don't starve yourselves. Don't be miserable because it's only going to hurt you later on. You might lose 20 pounds. You might lose 40 pounds. You might be, lose 50 pounds in a month by starving yourself. You're going to be miserable later on because you're going to get sick. You're going to lose muscle mass and you're going to be miserable and you're going to bounce back and you're going to gain triple that amount of weight. You don't want that. You want to be full all the time. And you want to be happy all the time by eating large amounts of food that taste delicious. That's what we want to do. Large amounts of food that taste delicious and have low calories. That's what we want to achieve, guys. All right. Take care.